God whose creative glory we see in the rushing wind and the swirling waters. And whose love is revealed in the smile of a child will remain with us. God whom we have discovered in the scriptures and who has discovered us. And who comes to us in Jesus and in the lives of the saints will remain with us. God whom we encounter in the worship and service of our many faith communities whose spirit is within the mission and vision of this conference, will remain with us. God, gracefully known in the hard places of our journey together. And who laughs and celebrates joyfully with us here today, will remain with us. God, who will be with us as we release this sacred space. Who is with us in time and beyond time, will remain with us. Let us give thanks to our loving God and faithful God. We are gathered today to release the Amistad Center, which has been the home of the many ministries of the New York Conference of the United Church of Christ since 2006. And as we do so, we are reminded that buildings are tools of ministry and mission. So we give thanks to God that we have been given this tool but we also give thanks to God for the mission and ministry, which has evolved and changed over time and now requires new tools of us. We release the Amistad Center as a gift of the past as we enter into a new future together as the New York Conference. For the many meetings that have taken place over the years, meetings of the conference board of directors, the Global Ministry Commission, the Commission on Ecumenism and Interfaith Relations, the Commission on Ministry, the Oneida Committee on Ministry, the Oneida Executive Committee, and the many, many staff meetings. Loving God, we give you thanks. For the many students, and instructors who have gathered for NISOM classes and practicum sessions, some around the tables and some joining from screens, for knowledge shared, for skills honed, for transformative conversations and deepening faith. Loving God, we give you thanks. For the many meetings and Brazilian cheese bread, for computers, screens, servers, printers, and data clouds. For stopping and showing German partners what Syracuse looks like. For dreams dreamed. For actions made. For offices and files who represent people and churches. For patience. For kindness. For living justice and walking humbly. Together, loving God, we give you thanks. For the many opportunities together for training and workshops, for cornhole games in the basement, and for the occasional nap on that wonderful massage chair. Loving God, for this we give thanks. When it comes to the Amistad Center, as one of the last to be brought on to the uh, New York Conference team, I am grateful for the spirit and warmth that I felt the very first time I ever walked into the building, which was during the interview for this job. I'm grateful for the company that it holds as we had our staff meetings, and I'm grateful for the work home that it gave my colleagues for so many years to help construct the team that we are today. Beyond that, I'm also grateful that the Amistad Center had ample parking and the fact that it was oh so close to the Good Wegmans and the Chipotle. Loving God, we give you thanks. We come together with so many good and treasured memories along with many, many meetings, which always included a delightful lunch I cherish my memories of celebrations that were held at the Amistad Center, 
As leadership transitioned, old friends moved on. New friends came on board. We also joined together with great hope for continuing our shared ministries of the New York Conference in new and different ways. For the life and ministry of the New York Conference, which will continue on. Loving God, we give you thanks. My name is Bob Welcher. I'm from the Bayberry Church in the Liverpool, Syracuse area. And Donna Rose asked us to give some remembrances of the Amistad building. And this is one little story that I remember really, really well. It happened in about the year 2000, 21 years ago, when we just bought the building. Many members of my church and many others, for example, Claire Price from Binghamton, were ripping out old carpeting and making other improvements. In our newly acquired building, I was working with P.V. George. He was a very gentle, soft-spoken, and kind pastor of Fairmont Community Church. We looked into the office assigned to Jeffrey Black, conference minister. The contract contractors were in the process of installing an elevator. This new equipment necessitated the use of quite a few square feet of Joffrey's new office. When I expressed my concerns about this, PV in his quiet way said, that's okay. He won't be in his office too often. And he had no intention of being funny when he said that he was downright serious. <laughs> I always got a kick out of that. Another thing I remember really well, I was a new member of the Commission on the Global Church. And we had our in-person meetings. Boy, don't we miss our in-person meetings. And we had a large group of people, a lot of people from the metropolitan New York City area, uh, people of all different backgrounds. And the camaraderie was wonderful. I really miss that time especially concerning you know, the fact that we have Zoom meetings now and we can't even hug each other or say hello in the way we really like to. But those meetings were very special to me and I'm still on that committee and we're all working very hard. Hello, I'm Corrine Kim. I'm a member of Churchville United Church of Christ 15 miles west of Rochester, in case people don't know where Churchville is. I remember well the nine years of meetings I attended as a member of the conference personnel committee with such a wonderful staff headed by Joffrey Black. It was a nice change from walking up all those stairs in the former office. I'm not sure how many years we met in that old office before the new building was purchased. At the dedication, Betty Kretsch sang, bless this house. We had a wonderful lunch in the building with the German delegation before they returned back home after staying in our individual homes following the annual meeting. It makes me a little sad to think of selling the building since I was in on when we first purchased it and Joffrey was so happy to have found it for sale, buying it from the Red Cross. Basements, tall steeple churches, 
Shadows of fences and walls And alleys and hallways of power They answered your call Now it's our turn to do justice Humbly we rise to the day Give us the strength and the wisdom To walk in your way Gather the loaves and the fishes Share until all have been fed Walk in compassion and mercy By love will be led Standing in circles surrounding All holding hands while we pray When powers bend down on the helpless We'll stand in the way God of the worn and the wounded, let us be healed by the truth. When doorways are blocked, we will lower our friends through the roof. God of the circle that holds us, God of the ones pushed away, we will reach out to our neighbors and your name will say. No matter your creed or your country No matter the hue of your skin Your age, who you love, or the body Your soul was born in No matter the places you're broken No matter the things you have done Lay down that weight on the altar A new day's begun And work of the kingdom We welcome you home Join us in work of the kingdom We welcome you home Would you pray with me? Loving God, we offer our memories so dear to our hearts we offer you the memories that we have heard. We offer you the memories that we keep deep within ourselves, as you have blessed us in the listening and in the telling. So you will bless us as we bring them to mind and share them in the coming days. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, who told wonderful stories and shared his experience with his disciples. Amen. When the chosen people left the land of Egypt for the uncertainty of the wilderness. You, O oh God, went with them. You inspired and directed Moses and the people to the promised land. You will be with us now as we move on. When the prophets knew for certain that the old values and traditions would no longer serve your purpose, nor bring closer your realm. You, O oh God, showed the doubters a new day and revealed fresh opportunities to the closed-minded. Ever faithful God, you will be with us as we move on. When Jesus realized that the trusted structures and traditions could no longer serve your purpose, and Jesus knew it was time for a change. You, O oh God, were at the heart of his ministry, and you sustained him all the way to the cross. We move on to fresh ways to conduct the work of the conference, not bound by geography, but led by your spirit. With you, O oh God, we move forward boldly to welcome all, love all, and seek justice for all. 
God remains with us. Though we let go of our cherished place, God remain, remains with us. Though we meet together and do the work of the conference in new ways, God remains with us. God's justice will inspire us. God's realm will continue to call us to action. God is eternally for us and with us. Thanks be to God. Hi, I'm Gary Ferner, the Associate Conference Minister for Search and Call for the New York Conference of the United Church of Christ and I've been asked to assist in taking down our Amistad Center sign and offering some prayers as we decommission our building. So please join me in a prayer. Loving God, we lift up our prayers today, our prayers of gratitude for the individuals and the congregations that contributed to the purchase and the maintenance of the Amistad Center. We also give thanks for the blessings that you have poured into this building and the ministries that flowed from those blessings. And now we ask that you bless the proceeds from the sale of this building, that they might provide enduring resources for the ministries of the New York Conference of the United Church of Christ. And finally, we ask that you equip us as a conference to share the full meaning of the word Amistad, friendship, untethered from any one place, especially this place. May we be generous, may our love and friendship be unconditional, and may we share it extravagantly. And let the people of the New York Conference join me in saying, 